Hi, I'm Crafty Patty, and today I'm going to show you how to make these gorgeous floor cushions. And they're so easy, and they're so cheap to make. I'm also going to show you how to make these adorable tassels. Stay tuned, and let's get started. So I went to Walmart and I bought two pillows. They are oversized and overfilled and they are like $4 each. So for my floor cushion, it's only gonna cost me $8 for the filling and for the cover and filling as well. If you buy that in the bulk at the fabric store, again, very expensive. This is the best way to do it. So I'm going to be ripping down this one seam here, take out the stuffing of both pillows, and then I'll be sewing it back up so I've got an actual square. So I'm just gonna cut along the edge of the pillow here, and we can open it up so we can get the stuffing out, and then I'll be using this fabric to make my inside lining bag for the pillow. So this is the bag that the pillow came in. And what I'm going to be doing is, when I pull out some of the stuffing, I'm just going to pull on it and re-fluff it. And this is what you should do anyways before you stuff a pillow form. So I'm just going to continue to take all this out, and I'll do that with the other pillow as well. So I'm just gonna even up my cut edge from my first pillow here. The length of my pillow is 28 inches. So we need to make this side 28 inches as well. Right now, I have 20 inches, so that means I need another eight inches to make it square. So I'm going to use eight inches of this pillow, plus I'll add another inch to allow for seam allowance. So I will cut this one nine inches. Now I'm going to turn these so the right side is to the inside. So then we're just going to slip in the little piece into the inside here. And then I'll start on the edges here and I'll just place and two right sides together, matching up the seams, come down to the other end, and the easiest way I find is just to give it a nice little stretch, and then come into the very middle, in there. And then keep coming into halves. So give it a stretch and pin again. And pin all the way around. So this is the section I'm leaving open. So I will start sewing at this pin here. And I've allowed for a one inch seam. So we will sew it about between five eighths and one inch seam allowance. So we'll just start and make sure you backstitch just to secure that because that will be the opening there and we'll see you on the other end. And I'm back to my 
other pins is where I started, leaving the opening, and we'll just backstitch. So I've just ironed the opening down. It'll just make it so much easier for when you want to sew this closed. So let's just reverse this now. So the right side is to the outside. And now we have a square petal. And we have our opening right here. So now we're going to put all that stuffing back into the bag. Now what I like to do is I take uh, just some spare yarn or string and I tie it into the middle here just to pull this up until this meets and it takes the pressure off when you're trying to sew that. So I'll just tie a knot here and I'll do one more on this side as well and that really makes it easier for sewing. Then you can just slide it along to get it out of the way if you need to. And now it just butts up nicely and I can sew along and close up that seam. So I'm just gonna use some double thread and start from the inside for my first stitch. So the end of my thread is hidden. And then I'm just going to do a slip stitch. So I'll just come back into the other side and over and through to both sides. And continue across till you've got your whole opening closed up. And to finish off your sewing, you'll want to just come in and loop it through so it ties the knot. You might want to do that one more time. And then bring your needle through your material and up about an inch away. And then cut off your end. And that will be nicely secured inside your pillow. To make a cover for a pillow, generally speaking, you make it one inch smaller than your pillow. So being that this is a very overstuffed pillow, I'm going to make it the same size so it fits. This was 28 inches by 28 inches. And I'm going to do the fold over method to slip in the petal so I don't have to do a zipper. So I've made two more pieces that measure 29 inches by 22 inches. And then we'll just sew it over to enclose that seam. This will make closed over and then the petal will be able to go inside like so. In about a good 5 8 inch or to an inch. And we'll sew that along. And then once you've sewed down that edge, we will come back and turn it in again and sew down again. And our right sides together and go around and pin it all around the edge. And then once you've got this pinned around, you can add your second piece. And of course this one, again, right sides together. And this one will overlap 
the other one. And that will allow us to be able to open up and put our pillow inside. So you'll sew all the way around. So now that I've added this one here, I can take this pin out and all these layers will be sewed together. Like so, all the way around. And now I can reverse it to the other side. And there we have one nice big floor cushion and easy to take off if you want to wash the cover. And now I've been adding my tassels to the pillow and it's just amazing how much fun it makes the pillow look. You really want to add the tassels and they're so easy to make and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I found some yarn that was complementary to the fabric of the pillow. I've cut a couple pieces that are about two feet long. And now I've got two pieces of cardboard and I'm just wanting the tassel on this particular pillow to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to actually make these six and a half inches long from my tassels. I'm just going to take one piece of the yarn that I've already cut. I'm just going to pop that inside. And that's going to be used to tie the top off later. And now I'm going to come in with my ball of yarn and I'm going to wrap this 60 times. So one, two, three. I've wrapped my 60 times and I've ended with my last strand to the bottom. And now I can take the one piece I've got inside and just pull that out bring it up to the top and we're going to tie it in a tight knot. Give it a really tight pull. You can hold on with your finger and tie it in a knot. And now I can slide that off the cardboard. You can just give it a little bit of a bend if it's tight. And I'm just going to come around one more time to secure that top knot. So go this way with this strand and this way with the other strand. And I'm going to tie that one more time. nice and tight. Those strands will be used to tie that onto my pillow. And now I can come down. Make sure I've got them all on the right side. Give it a little bit of a even tug. And we're going to cut the ends here. So now that I know where the end is, I'm just using my two fingers to find out where my end is. And then I can cut right in between there. Don't cut your fingers, of course. Now we're gonna come in with our piece of string that we cut that was 24 inches. We're going to bring it up to the top here and we're going to form the top part of our tassel. Again, we're going to just tie a nice tight knot and I'm down about an inch away. Give it a nice tight pull. Hold with your finger and tie a knot. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring that around a few more times. One, 
two. And this one, I'll bring around the other way. One. And two. And then we're gonna tie it off again. Later, I'll bring these down with the needle to hide that knot and pull it down inside. But the next thing you should do now is to make a nice even tassel, is you're gonna come in and you're gonna pull down on every one of these strands, and that's going to even out your top strand so it's nice and tidy on the top. So I will just continue to pull down on each one of these, and then we'll come right back to you. And now, once you've got all your strands pulled down so they're nice and tidy, come in and thread your yarn with a very large eye darning needle. And then you're just gonna take these strands and bring them down into the middle of your tassel so it'll hide your knot. Bring that down, and it'll pull the knot to the inside. And the same with the other side. And now your knot will be hidden on the inside. Now we're ready to attach it to our pillow. Sometimes when you're pulling through a lot of thickness, you might need something to grip onto. So I've got just my little finger thumb protectors that I use for needle felting, and that will help to pull on the needle to pull it through. So I'm gonna take one of my strands, and then because we're working with a thick, well, it's actually a four ply, but thick for to go through an eye of a needle, I'm going to try to force it over the eye of the needle, pull down really hard, slide it off, and then it should go through your needle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through this, the seam on this side, but not right in the seam, just to the edge of the fabric here and through to the other side. This is where I'm gonna use my grippers, just so I can pull that through. All right, so through it comes. Cinch that right up to the top. I'm going to come into where the thread is coming through, right through the top part of the tassel and through to the other side. Really cinch that up, right up into the pillow. I'm going to come through again. I'm going to go up a little bit higher this time. Pull that through. Give it a really good tug and then back through. All right, so I'm going to leave that strand there. I'm going to turn over my pillow and now with my other strand, I'm going to come through on this side just to make it nice and strong. Chances are, if this was going to a home with small children, they're going to want to pull on these tassels. So we want them really strong. Okay, so again, I'm going to go through the top part of my fabric here. And I've got quite a few layers of fabric in here, so I'm just trying to maneuver it so 
I'm not going through so many thicknesses that it's going to be hard to pull that through. And of course, you can always use your finger grippers if it's difficult to pull through. Again, just really pull that up to the pillow, come back through. Cinch it up. And let's go through again. Really pull it up again and through the top of the tassel again. And I'm going to come out where my other strand is. Just going to leave that threaded because I'm still going to thread through. And I'm just going to tie a knot. Good tight knot. Now I'm going to come back in to the center of my ball to hide that knot. Give it a good tug. Come back in with my other strand. And again, pull it through the center of your tassel and give it a tug. You've now really secured that nice and strong to your pillow. And then the last thing you need to do is comb down all your pieces of yarn. Make sure they're all even. And then grab your ends and trim. And don't cut your fingers, of course. And there you have your completed tassel. So fun. Love the tassels on the pillow. They really make a big difference. I love it.